Hi, I'm going to show you how to make a Portuguese clam boil. I actually can't even remember when I learned. Uh, we've been making these in my house since uh, I was a kid because my dad would go clamming on the Cape pretty much every weekend year round it, through the winter. Um, so while some people only have clam bakes in the summer, we've always had them year round. And my brother is actually carried on through the tradition, so I'm very spoiled. I always have fresh seafood. We actually call these cohogs because we also have clams, which are the soft shell version. Um, so we're actually making a clam boil with cohogs. So what's great about this is there are basically just four ingredients, and you can kind of mix it up how you like. But the way that I traditionally make it is cut up about three quarters of an onion, um, one or one and a half potatoes, and the secret ingredient, or the most important ingredient, is the Portuguese linguiça. Um, this is made with a lot of paprika, so it really puts a lot of spice into the clam boil when you're making it. Um, but what's most important is to put in the clams first in about a half an inch of water. And um, really, I would say probably about a dozen cohogs per person, you know, and if you're really hungry, it's probably about a dozen and a half. But the great thing about this is it makes plenty for a group of people. So it's a great thing. You just make it and you put it right in the middle of the table and everybody can kind of dig in. Okay, now we're going to put everything in the pot. You want to put the cohogs down first because you want them placed in the water and so they'll get steamed. So you basically just take everything and layer it in there. Then on top of that, you know, it really doesn't matter at that point, but you want to just put in all your layers of potatoes. And what's key with the potatoes is to slice them really thin, because typically potatoes take quite a while to cook. But if you slice them really thin, they'll cook up quickly. Um, that's a little tip that I learned from my mother. So you get the potatoes, layer in your onions. And then, you know, you can chop these however you want. Sometimes I just like to chop them and then sort of splay them out like that. Basically, linguise is already cooked, so you're just heating it up. So you don't need to worry about the fact that it needs to cook through or anything like that. So I'm just going to put a few of those. And you can get linguisa. I mean, I live in Massachusetts, and there's a lot of Portuguese people, including myself. So there's a lot of places where you can get it. But you could also substitute it for chicken sausage or um, kielbasa or any kind of things like that, whatever you like. A lot of people also put in hot dogs. Um, you could even add corn on the cob. So it's very flexible to, you know, what you might have at home and what's in season. A couple of uh, spices that I put on top are garlic salt, and you just kind of sprinkle it liberally. I would say it's probably about a teaspoon. And then not too much, but some nice uh, peppers for some kick would be great. So you just sprinkle that on top. And that's it. Now it's ready to cook. So cooking a clam boil is almost as easy as getting it ready. All you do is you put it on the stove, turn the flame to high, put the cover on, and within 15 or 20 minutes it'll be done. This is great for somebody who is not an expert cook because the indicator that your clam boil is done is that the cohogs will be fully open. Um, you want to keep a um, close eye on this because it might bubble over. And even though you have a little bit of water, you'd be amazed it, would, it might steam over. So just keep an eye on it, and if it does bubble over, just turn it down to medium until it's done. And voila! Here is your finished clam boil. Look how good that looks. Come on. So all you do from here is you just scoop a little of everything onto a plate. Um, you know, and a lot of times what we do is we just put it in the middle of the table and everybody scoops out what they want. Some people like a little bit more linguisa, some people like a little bit more clams. And then what we do is we melt a little bit of butter, or in this case I actually, because it's so fresh, I just took some of the clam juice from the pot and I'll just squeeze a little bit of lemon in there. And this is definitely not a formal dinner. You just basically take your clams with your hand, you stick it in, and you eat it. Fantastic.